Hello gang, welcome to City Skylines, I'm Colonel Failure. Uh, we've been building this uh, new area of the city, uh, aptly titled Crop Circle, for, for quite a while now. And uh, it's it's really starting to come on. Um, and I guess if we pull out a little, you can see that, you know, we've, we've got some pretty significantly large buildings going on here. Uh, I also recently noticed, uh, as you can probably see, we've, we've developed something of a... Uh, a graphical glitch uh, in terms of trees, and I I, I, I wonder uh, whether this is as a result of uh, of my recent fixation with planting trees everywhere, or whether it's a, a, a mod that's causing the problems. I shall experiment ahead of the uh, the next episode and, and hopefully rectify it. Uh, that might mean bulldozing a bunch of trees, in which case I'll need another solution to uh, to making the place look pretty. But uh, otherwise, well, I'll, I'll, I'll disable some stuff, I'll figure it out. Um, okay, so last time we were here, we completed our work on this uh, industrial island, which is called the Docks. Probably because it has two sets of docks. Yeah, I know, it's an inventive naming, naming scheme, uh, as I'm sure you all appreciate. Um, it's, it's picked up a little, but I mean, demand for industrial is pretty low right now. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not too concerned about it not packing out just yet. And I do need to keep an eye on the traffic as that starts to develop. Uh, last time out, we built this, uh, this rather splendid, um, well, it's called Coastal Commerce for a reason. If I turn zoning on, you can see why. Uh, commerce is what it is. Um, yeah, heck of a lot of commerce going on here. Uh, the, the big question is whether we're going to see uh, sustained... Uh, coverage? Coverage isn't really another word. Uh, sustained growth, sustained uh, productivity from these chaps along the edge here. Given that this particular road only allows uh, foot traffic, yeah, so pedestrians only, and uh, an emergency and uh, service vehicles. Um, don't know. Uh, don't know if that's going to uh, pay off or not. As, as was aptly pointed out, uh, there's a high chance that uh, that trucks will be unable to deliver to these stores, and as a result, uh, those stores will go out of business. Anyway, um, as you can see, if you can just, in fact, the second I look at it, it's disappeared. There was just a little bit of demand for, for retail, for, for commerce. Um, that appears to have now dried up, typically. Um, but it'll be back, I'm sure. Uh, now, one of the things that I wanted to do, first of all, was was make a, a slightly better connection uh, to this, this commercial area. Right now, the only way you're getting to it is... Uh, actually, we've got a couple, of, a couple of roads out of the highway, but uh, fundamentally, the only, the only real way you're going to get to it is using these two ugly as sin uh, spur roads. I, I'm sure I said something about that being temporary and that you should rest assured that it was only temporary. Uh, so I'm going to make that less temporary. As much as it pains me because uh, I like to take my time when building junctions. And uh, I know it doesn't already it doesn't always show. I mean, the junctions work, but uh, uh, I do like to, uh, you know, invest just a little bit of time. Let's bulldoze these trees and see if, uh, if we... Uh, if, everything else decides to pop in. It might take a game reload for everything to pop back in. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think it's possibly a mod that's causing a conflict and I would put money on it being the uh, on the terrain editor. Of course, I could just be wrong. But, uh, you know, how often does that happen? Um, okay, so the challenge is we've, uh, you know, we've our two uh, main route uh, highways in and out of, uh, of this area. And then we've another two that uh, are currently crossing the river to, well, nowhere in particular, but they sure are popular. Um, yeah, so I mean, these lead, lead in, and ta in and out of town and, uh, and, all, around the, uh, and all around the periphery. Um, but, uh, but currently, you know, that, that's a heck of a long way to drive. Uh, one more thing before I start doing something productive. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on the weekly population change. We're down 105 this week, which to me feels like the start of the plague again. So I need to make a, make a careful note about how much I'm spending so that we can, we can weather the, uh, the inevitable storm that, uh, that comes out of that. 
Yes. Okay, right, so what are we going to do? So uh, I want to connect this side of our, our commerce district up to the road here. And the other side, I want to connect up to these roads here while bringing that one into the picture as well. Okie doke. How am I going to do that? Well, first off, we're going to delete what's there already. So, uh, you know, let's let's pause the game so that we don't cause too much drama. And then uh, off we off we trot. And uh, here's the thing, right? Is uh, frequently you if if you're you're planning a, a major road reworking of this kind of uh, of this kind of this kind of kind. Um, you want to uh, just take the plunge and start deleting. Uh, providing, you know, money is no object uh, in your city currently, uh, don't pussyfoot around. Get rid of loads of it and then plumb it back in. Because uh, otherwise you'll find that you're second-guessing yourself and that you're thinking, oh, well, oh, maybe I can... Maybe I can make that work. Trust me, you can't make that work. The only way to, to progress is to uh, is to dive in with both feet and, uh, and and then try and fish yourself back out again. Now, frequently in the past, this has led to me questioning my own sanity. Uh, and I'm sure if I've been recording at the time, you questioning my sanity as well. That's, that's uh, well, that's pretty standard. Um... The question is, what am I actually going to do here? Now, these two are pretty heavy traffic routes, and a lot of that is coming from here. Equally, we want to build up... Well, we, we certainly want to, to get use out of, uh, out of this bridge in order to, to feed the commercial area, given the number of, uh, of, of uh, trucks of industrial kind of supply coming in from the docks. Okay, right. That's as far as I've thought. Uh, let's let's start with something like this. I'll start with the easy bit, and, uh, because you know why wouldn't you? Okay, right. So that that's going to become something else eventually. So this area, I am ooh, not entirely sure what it's going to be, but it'll be something. Um, and then uh, I'm going to actually get rid of all of this. Because I want to, uh, I want to thread under the bridge. So after a, a long time building up the city, where uh, you know I would do everything possible to avoid using six-lane roads. After my you know initial surge of enthusiasm, uh, six-lane roading just about everything, thinking that it would it would help capacity and make the city grow better. Uh, you know I switched to a combination of nothing but highways and. Yeah, you see, the, those are not parallel. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, get rid of some of these invisible trees. Apologies for the uh, the glorious tree demolition sound effect. I don't know if this is going to have any effect at all. But, you know, there's, uh, there's no harm in getting rid of it. Anyway, let's get rid of that bit of road. Set this. I mean, I, the ideal is I want this road running parallel. As ever, part of the objective here is to be. Uh, what's already occupied? It's not already occupied. We'll go from the middle of here. We'll go out to there. All right, and then I want to run at 90 degrees. Thank you. And we'll go down that way, and then we'll do the same over here. Now this might lead to a, a you know a, a relatively convoluted uh, traffic system, but uh, we'll we'll worry about that in a minute because we're on a we're on a slight slope. No, we're on a we're on a significant slope. All right, there's no avoiding that then, is there? And then we'll get rid of this again. As ever, the golden rule of measure twice, cut once, not being listened to in the slightest. We'll connect you up to the coast. 172. Can you give me 180? That doesn't feel like 180. Oh, it is. I love that tool so much. That's the precision engineering tool coming into play there. Uh, telling me where my right angles are right and where they're wrong. Uh, back out here. 90 degrees. Brilliant. Okay, so, yeah, I mean... Uh, what I do like about these particular six-lane roads, which of course come with traffic plus plus 
is uh, is the bus lane, which can also be used by emergency vehicles. So I almost don't care about trucks and cars and other civilian vehicles um, getting stuck on roads like that, providing that uh, that emergency vehicles, public service vehicles, buses, what have you, can uh, can get around the place without too much effort. Right then. Okay, on to the bigger challenge. Two chaps here. One there. Ooh. Ah, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, don't think that. Uh, hold on. Let's... Uh, yeah, I need... I Give me this. This is a, This is an interesting notion. And what I want to be doing... I can't even remember which the right one is. It's that one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay, special prize for any of you who can guess what I'm up to. Well, actually, the special prize is you just get to gloat in comments. Uh, but yeah, okay, I've got a, I've got a wizard scheme here. And I'm sure at the moment, some of you are scratching your head. Why is he flattening this large area of ground? What possible benefit could there be in making a really big flat area? I'm sure some of you have guessed it already. Uh, that will do. I'm going to tidy the edge up of that in a moment. I don't want to burn too much cash on there unless I have to. Come here. Give me this. Where are we? No. That's the fella. Right, will you fit in there now? Not quite. The space is... Oh, the space is already occupied. Twice, in fact. Okay. All right. I need a bit more space then. And it's only the underpass routes that are actually getting in the way there. In fact, I don't see... Oh, hold on. Maybe if I rotate it 90 degrees... What I want to do is put uh, put the monster the monster interchange here the, the failure's eye, uh, and I promise I will share it up. I'm going to share it up after this very episode, so you can you can uh, enjoy the the disappointment of it not quite doing what you'd hoped uh, for yourselves. I know. Yeah, you can thank me later. Right, I'm going to fill this hole back in again. Can can you not increase the size of the brush? That would make life a lot easier. However, okay. So the the goal is, I and mean, the one thing that that uh, that the I junction does pretty well. Uh, there, I mean, there are some some difficulties that it throws up in terms of uh, vehicle lane switching, um, and I'm reliably informed that uh, that big changes are coming with regard to lane switching, uh, where it will be a problem of the past. And one of the uh, the mods that I have considered. Uh, adding to the game is one that apparently radically improves pathfinding and uh, and job allocation for for public service vehicles, notably hearses and garbage trucks. And we all know how much fun I have with those. So I might give that a look. Uh, apparently, it's it's got some compatibility issues, um, partially with uh, with Traffic Plus Plus, but that's mostly because. Uh, T++ does a lot of clever road stuff um, but uh, but mostly it has some it has some issues with uh, with pathfinding up one-way streets anyway I'll give it a try so you don't have to I'll, I'll fish it out and we'll we'll give it a look okay right I'm going to uh, I'm going to get this junction in here and I'll get it hooked up by whether it flipping heck have I just burned 300 grand Okay, right. That's uh, another. And I'll, don't start raising the. Look, I want this level here, right? Now stop mucking me about. You know that thing I was saying not five minutes ago about trying to preserve cash for for uh, you know plague avoidance. Well, you know that's that's gone by the wayside, hasn't it? Okay, now if that's not enough room, then uh, I, I'm going to sulk and probably do a bit more bit more digging in a minute. Come on, you want to fit in there. There isn't a slope. I'm, I just made all of this flat. What are you talking about? It can't possibly be too steep. What am I looking at here? 
Just wiggle it around the area until it finds somewhere that it likes the looks of. If such a place exists. That, th this is the major problem with the eye junction is uh, it doesn't want to fit anywhere. It needs a hell of a lot of flat ground. Um, and on most of the, uh, the kind of the default maps you get, you see, look, I can put it over here. Yeah, fat lot of good, that's going to do me. Um, yeah, on most of the default maps, the, the ground is far from flat. The, the developers having chosen to make it natural. Um, okay, well, look, I'll tell you what, I'm going to wrap it up here. And rather than keep you waiting for three days, I'll, uh, I'll be back uh, very soon, probably tomorrow, with, uh, with the next episode, and I'll have this done. So thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. A little shorter than usual, but, uh, but nonetheless rambly. Uh, I, you, you know me and my rambling. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio. This, 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 this.